All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you haven't already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my review for the 2023 The Wrath of Becky, the sequel to the 2020 film called Becky. Here's the plot. Two years after the escaped, uh, after she escaped a violent attack on her family, 16-year-old Becky attempts to rebuild her life in, in the care of an older woman when a violent group known as the Noble Men break into their home, attack them, and take their beloved dog. Becky must return to her old ways to protect herself and her loved ones. Now here's some of the casts. Now, when I did the review for this film, uh, the original 2020 film, I was blown away and said how much of a great actor she was for a child actor and wanted to see her more in films and see her progress. And she definitely has gotten even better in this film. In the film, uh, first film, her actions as dark and brutal as they were was more survival and to the rest of her family. In this film, it was more revenge, and I'm honestly down for it considering what happened. Now, just like I felt with Kevin Smith going into the first film, Sean William Scott is the last person I think of when it comes to pulling off an intimidating villain. But not only was I wrong again, but Sean William Scott was so much more imitating to the point I didn't even recognize him. All that being said, I felt like she was a little uh, was wasn't as vicious as she was in the first one, which is disappointing. She had more of an innocent vibe to her character story than a pissed off anger one that would have would make more sense with her character and what happened in the beginning of the film and on top of what happening in the first film. In my opinion, the violence should have been uh, up up attempt more. Uh, up than what we got as well. The kills and actions uh, got kind of stupid in the second half, in my opinion. However, I enjoyed it nonetheless. But I like the first one so much better. I personally don't think this completely lived up to the first film. Now, here's my rating. Come back, my fall thoughts. Now, I will say the ending surprised me by a lot, and I loved it, but won't say what it, it was for spoiler reasons. I'm hoping we get a third and even a fourth film, or even just a franchise in general, beyond that. Uh, to the point that I'm probably milking it, but it's one of those films that, you know, it's 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 not like going to be too overwhelming, uh, 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 at least until a certain point. So, what did you guys think of the first one? Did you think the first one was good? Uh, did you like it? What did you think of this specific one if you saw this, the second one? Uh, what did you think of that one? But I'm more curious about the first one, what your thoughts are, and then also, then I'm more curious about your thoughts on this one. Because I really, really like the first one, and it's been a while since, about two or three years since I did the first one. So, um, but yeah, remember, I love you all, please stay safe, and let's go.